Oh my God. Someone sent me a message telling me that he just saw blood in his semen. <gasps> what can he do about it? Hello everyone. I'm Gwendolyn Halle, a medical microbiologist and I'm popularly known as the medical professional with the difference because I bring you knowledge on health, medicals, hygiene, business, farming, and a lot more. So stay Welcome back. So today we'll be talking about blood in semen also known as hematospermia. Now, blood in semen should not and never be mistaken with blood in urine. Now, if you are 40 years and below, a male 40 years and below, and you notice blood in your urine, let me say once in one year or it's, you don't have repeated episodes of seeing blood in your urine, then it's not a call for concern. But if you are both 40 and you have these regular episodes of seeing blood in your urine, please run to your GP. Run to see a urologist, a good urologist that can help you sort out that issue. Blood in urine for a male below 40 is a call for concern. Both should not be mistaken. Blood in semen and blood in urine are two different things. So if you are a male below 40 years old, do take this seriously. Go see your GP if you have blood in your urine. If you have blood in your semen, in repeated episodes, go see your GP. Now, if you're 40 years plus, and you see blood in your, your, your urine, go see your GP. And if you are a male above 40 years of age and you notice blood in your semen in repeated episodes, do run to see a urologist. Do run to see your GP. Now, today, we're going to be focusing on some causes of uh, blood in semen. But I would like to say, if you're married and let's say you're having sex with your spouse on her period and um, after you have sex with her, you notice that your semen has blood in it. It's not a call for concern. But if you're too worried, go see your GP. It's not a call for concern. It could just be that the menstrual blood actually got a little bit into your urethra and that is why you were able to see blood in your semen. So quickly, we are going to look through some common causes of blood in semen. Point number one, sexually transmitted infections. And particularly, for example, we have chlamydia gonorrhea. These are common causes. This is a very common cause of blood in semen and shouldn't be taken lightly. The next is tumor or polyps. Let me say of the prostate of the testicles should be taken seriously. That is, you may be having uh, a, ca um, a cancer or a tumor or a polyp or a growth um, on your prostate or on your, in your testicles or uh, on your epididymis. So you should be very, very conscious to go see your GP. Next point is liver disease and high blood pressure. 80% of men who have high blood pressure experience blood in semen, but still do go see your GP. The next point is also, if you are male and you have liver damage or any form of liver disease, you will experience blood in your semen. So go and see your GP. Now the next point is, if you recently had surgery around your reproductive organ, you are more likely to have or see or notice blood in your semen. The next point is if you have an infection or inflammation on your prostate glands, on your testicles, on your, uh, in your urethra, you're going to be experiencing blood in your semen. So this I call for concern. And when you go to see your GP, you actually do a urinalysis test. Um, uh, you do an examination um, to, 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 to check your prostate. Um, if you have any form of STI diseases, you will be given antibiotics or you understand, you'll be checked for all that. 
and you'll be well taken care of. So this is a call for concern for every male who is above the age of 40, who sees blood in the semen very frequently. It's a, very, it's a, it's a call for concern. So do not take it hands down. So because from the age of 40 years, your body is more sensitive and more fragile. So you need to go see your GP. So we've come to the end of this little talk and I want to say thank you to all my returning subscribers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving visibility to these videos. Thank you for helping this knowledge to go across the globe and empower both male and females. And also for those who just landed on this channel or on this video, please join the family by subscribing and comment and share to those who need this information. I remain your favorite medical professional, Gwendolyn Halle. Bye-bye.